G'day Bomber fans, so recently I released a little club update going over some things including some department updates, highlighting some coaching changes. Uh, one of you guys commented asking for a specific video about all that, uh, I thought it was a pretty good idea, so here we go. Thank you Blake for the suggestion, today I will go over all our department changes from the last month or two because there has been plenty of change at Essendon behind the scenes. Let me know down below if I missed any uh, anyone, and please leave any video suggestions down below, I'm trying to record a bunch now so I can release regularly while I am overseas later this month. So we will start with a little general manager switcheroo. Josh Marnie, uh, who was the man in charge, the executive football manager of the AFL and AFLW team, stepped down. Well, he actually stepped up. He was hired by the AFL as the general manager of football operations there. And to replace the outgoing Marnie, we have brought in Daniel McPherson to oversee the AFL side of things and Aisha Ward, who will be the general manager of the AFLW. So more generalized roles, which I can only see helping each team, makes the workload easier. But it appears they will still work together, which will help uh, McPherson was actually with us in 2023, but has had a cheeky little promotion. Before that, he was at Melbourne and North Melbourne in similar roles. He has also got uh, AFL footy experience himself, which helps. Um, he played over 100 games. He is clearly an intelligent footy operator, having worked at multiple clubs. And as for Ward, she was, uh, well, she's been a bomber for a while. She came over in 2015 to coach. She's actually played with Essendon uh, before, before we ca uh, became an AFL team. She was with our VFLW side. She was recently appointed as uh, the AFL operations manager for us, uh, but now her new role as AFLW manager will come with more responsibility as she works with our coaches and other branches of the team. Same with McPherson, the role is broad, but it's an important one. They will be heavily linked with uh, different branches and areas of the department. Really important jobs that don't get enough credit a lot of the time. All right, now I've already spoken to this one. I'm going to go over it quickly. I've made a video about it, actually. Uh, Matt Rosa is now our talent and operations manager. He's going to take over Dodoro as our main list boss. Uh, Dodoro will stay at the club. I'm not sure what role he will receive. Maybe be just a general member of the list management and talent team, but he will guide the young Rosa and help steer him along for a little while so he can learn and become more experienced through his teachings. Uh, there is still a bit to play out here. We don't know how long Dodoro will be there for or how much of a role he will play in our decisions, but after the draft, uh, Rosa will apparently take over. That's all we really know, I think. Alrighty, Dr. Ben Robbins has joined the club. He has the role of head of psychology and well-being, probably an underrated job, really, if you think about the direction mental health has gone in uh, just in the last decade or so, really. We've seen a big move move and drive for open and honesty regarding athlete mental health, which is obviously really important. He comes from St Kilda, was there for a few years before that. He was actually with North Melbourne, uh, working very closely with Brad Scott as a mentor to the club's leadership program. He has uh, AFL experience as well. He played for Brisbane and then went and got a PhD in clinical psychology, really experienced in the footy landscape and just psychology as a whole. So we have someone really familiar with the grand scope of things, which I think will help. I don't know enough about this stuff to comment on it with chest, but he has a pretty good resume. Now, an appointment I am really excited about. It's gone under the radar a bit, but this is big. Uh, so David Rath has been hired as our coaching, innovation, and game strategy manager. He is a really experienced football strategist. He has a sizable resume. He's spent over two decades in the AFL working with uh, St. Kilda as their head of football, and more importantly, with Hawthorne during their premiership run as the head of coaching and innovation. He is a really smart and versatile strategist. He was recently working with the Wallabies on their Rugby World Cup campaign, but he has come back to the AFL where he really belongs. This guy has proven his tactical prowess. He was a big reason why Hawthorne were able to go back to back to back. Uh, having him at the club can only improve the way we go about things, I think. Of all people I'm discussing in this video, David Rath is the one I'm most excited about. Jonah Seagal has joined our strength and conditioning program, not leading it, but is involved in it now. He was actually the head of high performance at North Melbourne from 2017 to 2020. He left the club in 2021 after around two decades there, I think. He was involved at North for a long time before becoming the head of strength and conditioning. He replaces Connor Daly, who left our department to go work in the NBA. Uh, Seagal is very experienced in the AFL, which is ideal. And finally, at the end of our disappointing VFL campaign, Lee Tudor stepped down. He resigned as uh, head coach of the reserves team. Uh, just days ago, it was announced that Blake Carousella would take over. Carousella is an experienced Essendon person. He's played a lot, coached a lot. He was most recently our defensive coach, but will now assist in the development of younger players through the VFL. He will work closely with McPherson and Rosa, who I've already spoken of. He will lead lead the way and will hopefully bring us into a more relevant spot in the reserves because we've been pretty poor in recent years. But that is all. Those are the football department changes that we have seen in the last month or so. There are bound to be some more to come, but that's it for now. Let me know what you think of these changes. Comment down below any other video ideas you want to see. And of course, as always, like, subscribe and go Bombers.